you want to move from point A for example let's say this is your point A and this is your point B Th this is your point A and this is your point B so you want to move from clock to their uh, respective endpoints as fast as possible but you, uh, but in the process it should be it, it should be optimal it should not be very fast it should not be very slow it should be an optimal optimal way so let us try to calculate the latency in this case so let's say from clock to this particular uh, this particular launch flop clock and point the latency is L1 and L the value of L1 is like 3 buffer delays plus 1 2 3 4 wire delays so you have the latency L1 uh, uh, as uh, uh, marked in this particular uh, slide so it's 3 buffer delay plus 1 2 3 4 buffer uh, 4 plus 4 wire delays next let us calculate the latency of the other of, of this the other section so let us call it as L2 and the and the latency L2 is is uh, like two buffer delay and one two uh, three wire delay so so this is the values of latency now we have to consider we have to uh, th there will be some specifications that will be given to us that will decide on what this latency numbers should be that is that is one thing and second thing the advantages of having low latency